friends and welcome to the Shaved In for Saturday's video. So I'm going to get right into it um, and then we'll just go from there. So a big thank you to um, to three gentlemen. Uh, they did dedication shaves to me. I really appreciate it and that is Dave Card, Mitty Lindholm and DK Rowden. So in the description box down below you will see links to their channels. If you're not already a subscriber please go check them out and give them some support as well. So, uh, getting right into it, brush for today is going to be my Matty Lindholm brush once again, hand turned by Matty himself, a 24 millimeter Maggard's knot. Soap for the day, um, Matty, Frank Stromberg, and Dave Card all conspired to get me this, and that is uh, English Rose. I'm gonna get a screenshot here for the. Uh, Thumbnail, there, boom. Block out my big old face. So yes, English Rose, a uh, very, very nice scent. It's a uh, rose, soil, germanium, wood and spice. Very, very nice scent indeed. So I think I'm gonna go for the face lather today. I I've been doing some hybrid lathering uh, lately. Uh, I just find it's a little bit easier just to bowl lather. And get a little bit more moisture in the brush. Just find it's been easier to um, just to bowl lather and then finish off on the face. Um, so yeah, the eyesight has really, really deteriorated here. And even in the last week since the last video, it has gone downhill. But you know what can you do about it? There's, there's really nothing, nothing I can do about it at this point. Uh, my ophthalmologist did call yesterday, and I missed the call, so. Uh, they left a message. I had to call them back Monday to reschedule an appointment due to this COVID-19 thing. But I'll have to iterate to them that, yeah, I'm having some issues and I need to be seen sooner than later. And who knows? Who knows what will happen? Maybe we'll be able to get all this fixed up. That's it. It's a good load on the brush. Wonderful scent, though. I really do like it. I I'm not a big fan of floral scents. To be 100% honest, but I like this one. So, there you go. Just something about the Wickham. Alright, so we'll get in and get this on the face. So, yes, thank you very much for the support on the uh, video last week. And I do have to say I am sorry for the delay to the comments. Um, I did not get a single email notification for any of those comments on that video. Not a one, because I woke up the next day. You know, usually I get a couple couple comments through the evening after I post the video. And then I will um, I'll wake up the next morning. Boom, I got like a ton of emails, right? Uh, as everybody watches and comments. And so I woke up and I checked, uh, just quickly checked, and I seen there was 82 views and not a single comment. And I was like, oh. <laughs> Oops, I crossed the line maybe with the video. <laughs> maybe people don't want to hear me ranting, and that's fine <laughs> if people don't, or, or venting, I get it. So, <laughs> no, anyway, so then I, I clicked on the video, and just scrolled down to the comments and seen there was like 20-some comments, and I was like, holy shit. So that being said, even today, I'm still not getting all my notifications for comments and replies, and I don't know why, So I checked check my settings and I'm set up to get all the notifications so and I have restarted my device because I was having issues with something else so anyway lathers coming together nicely uh, Wickham's loads and lathers easily but yeah so thank you very much to everybody for the support I do appreciate it I, I try not to go on those vents if I can help it because um, I know we all have our problems, so I'm not unique in having uh, issues. We all have our own struggles. Uh, but I do appreciate the support nonetheless. Um, just lately, it's just everything's been coming to a head. So, I mean, a fella can only, a person can only uh, pick themselves up and dust themselves off so many times before it starts to wear on you. And if you're new to the channel, as uh, 
some of you are, I've been getting some new subscribers and thank you very much for that. Yes, I am visually impaired. Uh, I only have one eye that works and that eye does not work all that great now either. So essentially I'm legally blind. And uh, the definition, the easy way to surmise it is um, when you go to the eye doctor and that big old E that's on the eye chart, the biggest E, I can't read that. So there you go. And everything now is just a blurry, dim mess, but you know, whatever. We will uh, we'll persevere, because that's what we do. And I'm gonna show you here in a second just how serious I am. Clean off the work area. All right, so razor for today. No surprise, oh, almost fell over there. <laughs> Entertainment. Uh, razor for today, no surprise, is the uh, carved Christopher Bradley. Wait a minute. Well, that's not a curve. It's not a curve at all. No, this is a Hellestrand MK number four. Uh, this was um, sent to me by Matty as well. Uh, he did this razor up for me. He uh, restored it, put a fresh edge on it, new scales. Thank you very much, Matty. I really do appreciate it. I don't use straights very much that often, but today we're going to. And that's a nice keen edge. A little harder than I remember, even from that 10 minute uh, challenge video. Very nice. Very slick soap, this Wickham's. That was a good first pass. So now we're back to doing this the old fashioned way as um, before I got my glasses, which is by feel, with just a little bit of help from the eyes and not much. So don't try this at home. You're watching a trained professional. So yeah, hopefully everybody's having a good weekend, staying safe. A uh, big shout out to all the first responders and essential workers out there that are kicking ass and taking names during this uh, pandemic. I know my wife is an essential worker. She works in the nursing home. And uh, she has to do all the uh, all the grocery shopping because I can't drive, and I'm not supposed to be out in public because of my uh, health issues. So God love her. That's a pucker factor right there. Woo! Well, we're getting her done.
yeah, crazy times we're uh, we're living in right now. Telling you right now, there's one sharp edge on this razor and smooth. got myself there or I did get myself there I don't know I guess we'll find out what can you do I won't be able to see it I'll have to get one of the kids to check it out now I think I'm starting to lose a bit of my lather maybe maybe not I don't know, I think we, we might be all right. Oh, um, so there will be a new guitar, <laughs> a new guitar video at some point here, even though it's a shaving channel, I did pull the trigger and buy a new guitar. Call it my pandemic guitar. So, um, yeah. Looking forward to that. Uh, hopefully you'll do a better video than the last one. Wasn't really happy with the last video, the way it turned out. Yeah, I wasn't really happy with the way the last one turned out. A lot of audio clipping. And uh, saw my playing was shit. Let's see here, can we see anything over here? I can't really tell. Like a pink lather? I don't know. But anyway, yeah, so hopefully the next video will be a little bit better. Try and play better. And uh, without the clipping audio. do a cleanup pass here. Yeah, that's as far as I'm going to go with the straight, I think. I'm just going to reapply some lather here. And we'll just go in for a cleanup. Going pretty good for all. I am starting to lose a bit of my nerve with the straights though. Uh, but I think that's only human nature. If you can't see what you're doing, it's a really hard, it's a really hard proposition, a really hard thing to do. At least for me, I find it hard to do, uh, to get the nerve up. So carve brass uh, with a B plate and an Astra SP and we'll just I'll just grab all the spots I missed. But I'm trying to think, have I, uh, If I left anything out, anybody to thank? I don't think so. But so yeah, once again, just a huge thank you to everybody in the wet shaving community. I look at this community as uh, my extended family. And I'm very grateful for all the support. And 
And that's why I try not to, uh, that's why I try not to vent too much, because I know, like I said, I know we're all going through something. And um, I will reiterate what everybody else has said uh, to me. And jeez, did I ever miss a bunch of spots? Anyway, um, I will re reiterate what everybody has said to me. So, you know, even though I'm going through stuff, I'm still always online. I'm always willing to talk. So if you are watching this and you are going through some stuff in your life, just reach out and we can talk through it. I don't mind listening and I don't mind trying to uh, to help when I can either, right? So uh, we're all in this planet together. We're all in this thing we call life together. So just all help each other out and get through it as best we can. It was a pretty good shave. I think that's going to... Uh, yeah, it's gonna turn out to be a near BBS, I think. All right, so I'm gonna go with the matching bum, English rose. Now, the only thing about these airless pumps, I find that you have to beat them mercilessly. Uh, I noticed this with my Club Cola and a couple Alvado ones. Sometimes just shaking it like that, it just doesn't do it. Um, I find for some reason, whatever, in these things, the scent seems to not stay mixed, at least not to my nose. And um, so the way I figured out how to do it is just, just beat at the palm of your hand a few times. And then you can hear it, you can hear it sloshing around. That sudden stop against your hand will get everything mixed. So that, that should be perfect. So now that should smell like English rose. If I can get it out of the damn thing. Now it doesn't want to work. It's a malfunction in the junction. Well, this is embarrassing. Well, now what? Is it clogged? Or did I dislodge something? sports fans I don't have a backup I wonder if you can take this thing apart oh you can <laughs> success oh, I think she's clogged boys There, I'll just scoop some out and we'll uh, figure out what the hell we're going to do about that later, off camera. Yeah, maybe I broke it, I don't know. Oh, oh the scent's definitely mixed though. Yeah, it's good and strong. Alright, well, problem solving 101 with uh, Justin the Red on the Shaver. Alright. There we go. So that was the shave, guys. I will let you go. Uh, so thank you very much for the support. Once again, links will be in the uh, description box down below. Thank you all the new subscribers. Thank you to the continuing support. I do appreciate it. So until next time, friends, have a great day and even better shave. And we'll catch you next weekend. Ciao.